Okay, so we're ready for an, um, another little um, working with molarity that follows up on our mole video. Um, molarity is used to express per liter of solvent. And for us, that solvent is usually going to be water and we'll refer to them as an aqueous. There are other solvents that can be used for solutions, alcohols, a whole um, host of things. But for the sample problems that we're made up in water. So molarity is expressed in terms of moles per liter. So here we have one, so if we have one mole of an atom or molecule dissolved in one liter of, and abbreviate this as one capital M is equal to one small case, M-O-L over, stands for molar, right? meaning a concentration, and the small letter, M-O-L, stands for moles, molecular weight, that we've already worked on. So, let's start working some samples. Um, to so the question is, how would you prepare one liter of a one molar aqueous solution of tea? So, here we go. The first thing is to list Right. and put out here how many of each we have. Okay, so here we're going to try. Okay, potassium, which is 40.078 grams per mole, okay. which is 14.007 grams per mole, and nine grams per mole, right? So let's write these down. Eight grams. The nitrogen was 14.007 grams, nine, nine grams. And the oxygen here is an example of 15.999, um, point zero, and some of the tutorials you'll be working with have oxygen is 16 and nitrogen. Nine. I'm going to be using in this example the three digit numbers because that's how our little interactive um, periodic table comes up with nine. So, and our third thing is to carry over how many of each we have because um, to come up in this case with 40.078 1447.997, right? And for number four down here, we're going to sum those up to grams per mole. Okay. Uh, molecular weight of um, um, potassium nitrate in gram one mole per liter. Right. Then that's equal grams per liter. So we will dissolve the potassium nitrate in water, bring to volume, or abbreviate that liter. Right, so we'll dissolve it and then bring it to volume. So for that question, how we prepare one liter of nitrate, dissolve it in uh, water and bring it to volume of one liter. So question two, how would you prepare one liter of three molar citric acid? Right, so seven. So first thing, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and we have six oxygens. So, periodic table. Well, there we got oxygen. We're going to need that. So, hydrogen is 1.00708. And our friend carbon is 12. Let's put those values in. So, we just said carbon was. 12.011 hydrogen 
eight and oxygen is fifteen point nine nine nine. Right? Eight of those and seven of those. Okay? So these are in grams. So we multiply those. So for carbon we get seventy two point zero six six grams. For zero six four grams and for oxygen we get one three grams. So we sum those up and we get one hundred and ninety two point a mole of citric. Alright, so our question was how do we make a three one liter of three molar? Two, three grams per one liter. Okay, so we multiply that. Right, one ninety two point one two three times three is equal to five hundred and seventy six point three grams per one liter. Is equal to three. Molar, right? So, three mol. Okay. So, three times one molar is equal to three mol. Point one, two, three. I think three grams per liter for one liter for a three molar solution. On a variation on that. Which ask us, how do we prepare 500 milliliter carbonate? The, um, molecular formula Na2CO3. So, and we have two of those, one of those, and three oxygen. So, back that, so it's 12.011, and we need sodium. Same zero and then oxygen which we've used before which is 15.999 grams nine, nine grams all right and we'll get our multipliers there's two of these so if we do the multiplication 22.990 times two is 45.98, 12.011, and then 15.999 grams times 3 is 47.9 grams. So if we add up the individual elements, we get a molecular mass of ones per mole. All right. So if one per liter, Three molar is equal to three mole per liter. So we're wanting a three molar solution. Now, if there's three moles per mil, so how many moles are there in 500 mil? So we've got three moles for 1,000 milliliters mole. And 500 milliliters. So we've got three moles, is equal to question mark moles times 1,000 mL. By 1,000. Got 500 over 1,000, which is 0.5. So we got three moles times. And so that comes out to be 1.5 moles. So we're going to need 1.5.998 gram per one mole. Okay, 1.5 moles.
So, 105 mole is equal to unknown grams times 1 mole. Alright, we're dividing both sides to get rid of that mole on the right side. Alright, then the moles cancel out. We're dividing by 1.998 times 1.5 equals the number of grams. And then out to be 158.982 grams is our one and a half. So, then the thing is, so we dissolve. One, grams in water and brain to body. So what we've got, we've got 1.5 moles in 500 mils that is mils would be equal then to 3 moles in 1 liter. So we did that in our two proportions. Right, a 3 molar solution is 3 moles per 1,000 mils, but we're only making 500 so how many moles do we need? 0.5 moles. And what is 1.5 moles of the sodium moles then is 158.982 grams. Okay, so this problem asks us how will we make 1.25 liters of a 600 mole? And we have then the formula for sodium bicarbonate is NA8CO3. So you look at these problems, molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate, and then you look at the question, what is your volume? In this case, 1.25 liters, and what is your con? Those are the things you're looking for, is how to get 1.25 liters at a concentration of 600 millimolar. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, so we've got one, and one, and one. You've seen the periodic table often enough, you can find the sodium is 22.908. Carbon we found as 12.011 grams, and 99 grams. Okay, right. so times one, times one, times one, so. That one's going to say 22.9 um, grams, 1.008 grams, 12 and 15.99 times 3 is 47.997, 84.006 grams per mole of sodium bicarbonate. If one molar is equal to one mole per liter, molar equals 600 millimoles. It's always going to be expressed in terms of liters. So if it's one molar, it's one mole per liter. If it's 600 millimolar, five moles per liter. So when we see this 600 millimole, we can just say that 600 millimole per millimoles per liter, right? And we're one liters, right? How many millimoles by or cross multiplying? So we get 600 millimoles times is equal to our unknown millimoles times one liter. By dividing both sides, so we get 600 millimoles times 1.25 liter is equal to our unknown millimoles. Either, you saw me add the E there, either M-O-L or M-O-L-E is okay for we get rid of the liters, we divide by one, we wind up at 600 millimoles, or unknown millimoles, 
right? So 600 times 1 point up to 750 millimoles. So we're going to want our um, um, 1.25. We have to weigh out to get 750 millimoles. So if we know back from 006 grams per mole, so 84.0 for one mole is equal to how many grams millimole? Okay, so we need to convert this mole again, and then one mole. mole. So we've got 84.006 grams over one equal to how many grams over 750 millimole? All right, so 84.006 grams times 750 millimole times 1,000 millimole. Okay, so we're going to the um, grams there. So we get rid of that and divide 750 by and then we're going to get 84.006 we're going to get our uh, 